Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow, and I am coming to you with more straightway truth from the University of the Painful Truth. I was listening to an AM talk show, and a caller called in, and they had a dilemma. And the dilemma is, is that this woman, she's 41 years old, has a 16-year-old daughter who is pregnant. And of course, the concern is um, wedlock. Listen to me very closely, all right? The United States of America and its culture has a way that it, is, it has defined for all that live in this society. And please listen to me very carefully because I am carefully choosing my words. But they have... <clears throat> a way in this society that they believe to legislate morality. In other words, the United States of America, and again, I still say you can't have a country without a religion, period, whether you like it or not. And that's total, irregardless if you choose to believe or not believe, be you atheist, agnostic, or whatever flavor, you're picking and choosing. But please listen to me very closely and listen to me very well. The United States of America, or the government, has always defined for this country what morality is. And of course those moralities or those rules of moral conduct and law is subject to change based on who is in power at that particular time. So that's letting you know that they truly don't care nothing about what the scripture says. It's about what this uh, constitutional republic, which they're constantly trying to cram down our neck and our throats, that we're a democracy. And if you don't believe me, Pay attention to how many times you hear the word democracy anytime they're talking about war and maintaining so-called civil liberties and freedoms in this country. And mind you, you're going to thank me for this too because when you read in the Constitution, um, it always says until the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. Um, and it goes on and on and on. But what I'm trying to really center and focus on here is um, this mother's husband is quite upset that the 16 year old girl who is actually happy she's happy that she is 16 and pregnant but her father is quite upset well they asked the talk show the talk show host asked the lady how were you when you became pregnant she said 19 were you married and she says no he says okay and how was he 17 all right, y'all begin to see where this thing is going, right? All right. We got a 19-year-old woman pregnant by a 17-year-old man, which according to the laws of this land, allegedly is supposed to be considered statutory rape. Um, but nevertheless, let's go on. The question is this, is, is how do you define marriage? Because they believe that you go down and get a marriage license, and as talk show hosts believe that too, and this is a Christian radio station, all right? You can tell these people don't believe the Bible, and they don't read the Bible. They, they actually speak to you from the way that this particular cosmos, this world, this paradigm, this social paradigm is running here in America. Because, you see, the truth is, according to Torah, according to the Bible, according to the Scripture, you know the thing um, that Jesus often referred to over and over and over again and said, it is written, it is written, it is written. Uh, the law and the prophets. Uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of Yah. You know, it goes on and on and on. Again, again, again. Is it not written in the Holy Scripture? Um, but I know that people in this world, especially over here on this side um, of the pond, has been taught to ignore biblical principles in favor of an American civil moral system that they have justified under the banner and the flag of Christianity. Hope I made sense. Hope you don't think it. All right. But the truth is, whether you like it, understand it, comprehend it or not, the day that her boyfriend went into her, she became his wife, especially since there was no screaming out, no, no, apparently there's agreement because um, the mother stated that both of them are elated that she is pregnant. Well, the father's upset. And of course, you know, they immediately go to the hypocr hypocrite or the hypocrisy card. Because, I mean, after all, he's 17, got a mother pregnant at 19, and the little girl's got wind of it, no? And, and um, it's amazing because I remember, because my son, 
told me, I think it was no more than maybe four years, five years ago, that he actually was computing and calculating as a teenager uh, to make sure that he wasn't, look at his <clears throat> born out of wedlock. And the truth is, he couldn't do anything about it. But what I'm getting to is the mindset, the way that we function in this world without any thought whatsoever at all, simply because it's the way that it has always been done. And we think that we're actually right. And I harp and I preach and I scream and I teach on this a thousand times over. You're, you're not married when you go down to the government and pay a hundred some dollars for a license um, to do something that you have already practicing anyway in order to get married. No, 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 no. According to the Bible, and go and read it without the intrusion of doctrine and theology. According to the Bible, when a man goes into a woman, that woman becomes his wife, especially if she's a virgin, because there are rules for virgins, there are rules for divorcees, there are rules for widows, and there are rules for harlots, believe it or not. I mean, really. And harlots slash conjunction whore. There are rules for all of this in the scripture, and they're clearly defined. But I'm trying to show you that the United States of America and all of the churches and these institutions, the a lot theologies, uh, uh, professors and everything, they're simply just not interested in what the Bible says. Uh, who told these people that they were not married? And of course, then the talk show host is ignorant as he, as he is. He is still using, well, you know, uh, when did you get married? No, you got married as soon as you got, that one man went into you and then you, you got pregnant um, and then the fruit comes out. See, but they was defining marriage based on when they went and got a marriage license. I told you. If you knew what I knew, and if you could comprehend what I comprehend and overstand what I overstand, you would not advise nobody in this world to ever go down and get saddled up with the system through a third party contractual agreement and enter into a polygamous relationship with the state. A lot of people are har harping over biblical marriage and polygamy and how wrong and stuff is, yet still they're doing it every day when they go down and they teach people to go and saddle themselves up with the government. And have you ever checked this before? You go to a wedding, all right? And during that ceremony, you got this preacher standing up. And all of a sudden, the preacher opens up the Bible. And you would assume, of course, you know, Christians don't read the Bible anyway. They don't know what's in it. But you, you would assume that this preacher is actually reading from the Bible when he says, Dearly beloved, uh, we are gathered here today to gather, to join together in holy matrimony. First of all, you don't have anything to do with joining people together in no holy matrimony. Utterly amazing. Utterly amazing. The way our minds function and think. See, we don't know what truth is, but yet and still because we believe it and we have our own book of the law, we try to force our opinion and our perspective on others without having any truth or knowledge whatsoever at all. It's just a sad situation. But that preacher, there's nowhere in the Bible, go check it out, that you're going to find what this preacher is quoting. But yet he does have a Bible in his hand. It's only amazing, isn't it? The hypocrisy. And of course, then people get mad and upset at me because I simply bring these truths to their mind. Now, everyone that is of the truth, they love the truth. They support the truth, they defend the truth, and they live the truth. But those who are of the lies and love lies and defend lies... You of your father the devil. That's, that's just simply how the Bible speaks. And I know that we like giving ourselves a pass being ignorance, but I would tell you this, that ignorance is not bliss. It, it, really, it really truly isn't. But I am sure um, that this bizarre behavior is deeply and sociably embedded in the subconscious mind of man. And I am sure that man is not going to do anything whatsoever at all until they decide to set themselves apart to remove this lying nature out from under their, their, their mind and their conscience. You know, the scriptures does talk about, the Bible does talk about your conscience being purged. And let's just really truly look at it. Are people really truly working on purging their conscience today? I think not. Why people want to do that? Why do they want to be proactive to do something like that when it's, it's just it's too strenuous? It's, it's just way too strenuous. It's going to uh, cause too much pain. And, and of course, that's the one thing in people in America don't like is what change. Well, anyway, she's 16 years old and she's pregnant. Well, 
Well, she's 16 year old and she got married before she got pregnant when that man went into her. So the truth is, men in America, uh, you're not going to be judged by the United States of America when the breath go out of your body. You're going to be judged by the creator of the universe. And it would behoove you to actually open up that book for yourself and read it. Now, you ain't going to be able to hear without a preacher, and he can't preach except he be sent. A lot of these people went. A lot of these people went to America, um, college system, got a theological degree from man, and woe unto the man, uh, woe unto the man that trust in man and makes flesh his arm. So you already got a woe. They got a degree from man uh, that actually disagrees with everything that the book says. You don't believe me? See if you can find Christmas and the instructions to teach us how to do it. Or Easter and the instructions to teach us how to do it in the Bible. Or Sunday. See if you can find the instructions in there. Sunday is not the Sabbath and Sunday is not another name for the Sabbath day. But do you think these people really truly care? No, that's what deception is all about. Decept that, that is the way deception is. Uh, and that's what deception is, about deceiving you. Um, and that's what the devil is up to, is deceiving you. And of course, the truth is, most of you were paid to participate in this deception. Uh, most of you will do everything you can to defend it tooth and nail the lie that you have been traditionally raised in and believed, as if you are actually fighting against God himself. Then it come to find out when the breath of God of your body going to be judged according to the things that are written in the book, talking about the scriptures and not the book of man's law or their religion. Well, she's 16 and pregnant. I'm just telling you the truth that her mother was married at 19, regardless of the state license or approval or disapproval. Also, this girl's 16 years old. Well, man, guess what? You better get out there. So you know what? All you men in the United States of America, you better be very careful about going out here bedding women because you go out here and you bed these women and stuff. Now, I understand that you don't get it, but once you hear this truth and you understand it, you comprehend it, that woman becomes your wife. That's the truth. And that's the truth straight way. Shalom.